A few days ago, I built another Halo Warthog and posted it on YouTube as a way of showing the drastic improvements I've made to the previous one. I added more detail to the build, and the main thing that I'll be talking about, suspension. Obviously, the suspension I made isn't the same as the Warthogs, in the Halo games before Halo 4 anyways. But some of you guys wanted a little tutorial on it, so let's get right into the video. The suspension system that I'll be building is an independent suspension system which means that each wheel is controlled by a different spring. For a dependent suspension system, it would look like something like this. Data shows that 88.2% of you guys are not subscribed already, so please consider doing so. So to start, we'll be starting with a wheel. Next, you'd have to place a motor next to the wheel and set it to lock. This is supposed to give it the effect that it's slightly on touching the edge of the warthog, but sometimes that's not needed, so you can just put a block. Next, you're going to have to place a motor in the opposite direction, but make this motor unpowered. Then, you're going to have to take a half block, half wedge 2, orient it like this, then add a half wedge, orient it like this, and a half block, like this. Next, you're going to be placing a motor oriented in this direction, make this unpowered, and then you have to get a half wedge from the half block section, and run it along here. Next, you place a suspension block here, then orient the motor with the top facing the suspension, like this, and unpower it. If any of you were confused by that, um, I made the gold as unpowered and the pink as motor locked, just for it to be easier for you guys. This will be a very crude um, chassis, because obviously, because I am not making this. This is not part of the video, just the suspension. That being said, let's actually add two half beams connecting here, and add another two over here. And after that, you're going to have to place two blocks, one here, and another motor here, and a block here, and just repeat that same pattern from the other side. This is where the motor lock will come into play, and this is when the suspension will mesh together because if you were to do it without motor lock, it's going to stick and that's not how we'd want this to work. So make sure you lock these motors. I'm gonna be coloring them pink so it's easier for you guys. And all you have to do is just repeat the same thing on the other side. So that means motor here, motor there, suspension, half wedge, then a motor here, motor there, wheel there, half wedge two here, half wedge, and a half block. Once again, I'll be coloring these so you guys can easily tell the difference between a locked and unpowered motor. By placing a main pilot seat on our rig, you can start to see the difference. And as you can see, these are actually moving independently now. And with the motor lock on the wheels, the wheel slightly extrudes from the edge of the chassis. All you have to do next is repeat those same steps for the rear wheels. So I'll be doing this again. Suspension here, half wedge blocks here, and repeat the same thing for this side. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot these motors. And there you have it, an independent suspension system. Of course, this isn't really an efficient way of making one. You can also change the suspension settings to your liking, and you can also change how the sides look, because as I can see here, the wheels are touching the sides, which should not happen. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to be creating with this suspension system. And I guess that's it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.